All right, so welcome back crew and welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, I'm here in back in the garage guys, just doing a little bit of work to the 55 pickup, the shop truck guys, she's coming along really well. So today we're just gonna be fiddling around, um, just gonna tr trying to take a little break from all of the hustle and bustle of, um, you know, trying to just focus on putting this truck back together. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a little tightening up things. Uh, I actually off camera the other day painted up the front end as far as the pulleys, um, the alternator bracket. Also, I brought a new water pump. I was gonna just refurbish the water pump that I got. So, but I normally do replace those the water pumps. If I don't really know exactly how many miles um, on that water pump, I just go ahead and spend a hundred something dollars and just get a new water pump. But the pulleys, I just try to clean those up the best I can, and I, you know, I resprayed them and I put them back on the um, the front end of the of the engine. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. We'll probably go ahead and put that um, the belt, the motor, um, the the motor that's um, on the front end of the um, the motor back on, as far as the belt, and um, I also put the alternator back on. And I'm gonna show you guys how that cleaned up. Um, and I'm gonna show you we actually will be doing a cover like I do on all the LS's um, all my motors I will make a cover plate here to go over the top so none of this to be seen um, I did clean up my coil packs washed them up clean them off those are the original coil packs is on this vehicle um, you guys saw when I painted the valve covers and all that stuff there um, so everything's looking good um, I actually took the alternator bracket off I cleaned that up, then I repainted it. Um, I actually repainted this pulley here. I um, brought a new water pump and put that on there. So I actually brought a belt that, that are going in the front and we'll put that on. So the next thing that I'll have to do, I'm just trying to make notes of what I need to get taken care of. I have to, uh, now since I got my um, power steering pump and everything on, I will go to Unity Hydraulics. You guys know where I get my um, hoses from. I will measure this, go back around here to the pump, and probably this week I get my new hoses made for the pump that'll be taken care of. Um, then what we do is we'll move inside. This is the, my belt here. So then I think what I'm gonna really focus on today um, is really squaring this cab back up which I've already got my um, bolts back in there and but I'm not gonna crank it down yet I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing the front end I mean I'm sorry the interior of this truck I probably do the dash um, the glove box here in a few minutes and we may if we get to it we may put the heater heater box in here I wasn't sure to go I may go ahead and put the sound detonator down in here um, but we'll go we'll just do it day by you know like whatever comes to us we'll go ahead and take care of it so that's what we're going to go ahead and start working on i'm going to get all the parts out for the glove box and we're going to try to go ahead and put it in there all right crew this is going to be real simple the only thing you need to put your front uh, motor v belt on your motor is a 15 uh, millimeter socket um and this is the part number you can uh, and, and like i said i'm not using the ac unit on this one um, and this is going to be the first one that I do not actually hook AC up. I'm just going to have heat. <clears throat> so, um, we won't need our, um, AC unit. All right. So the first thing here that we're going to do is figure out how this goes. So it should go straight down like this here. Uh, we're going to go underneath this pulley here. All right, and then we're going to actually just let it hang on the um, pulley there. And we're going to go up and over this here like that. And then we should be able to just go straight down and around. It's so tight.
There we go. Well, I went the opposite way. Instead of going here, I went underneath there. And then you just take this and let it loose. And there you have it. All right, and that's the setup that you need. All right, there she go right there. Really simple. All right, guys, so you see we're about to do the silt floor. I always put a quarter inch uh, silt floor in there just to make it a little sturdier. Um, I went on ahead and got my plywood. I already got my measurements, so we're going to go ahead and cut it. And we're going to go ahead and put the silt floor in. <laughs> where this is the only thing that's kind of scary is when you're doing this by yourself uh, I don't want to scratch up the truck so you gotta be real careful Alright Chris, so we're ready to go on to the next step. Um, this is just going to be a quick little uh, tech tip. Um, maybe you guys can save some money. This is what I normally do for my sound detonator in the bottom of like the um, firewall. Um, I normally put it on the bottom of the cab as well. But I, since I have a quarter inch ply board, I really won't need this stuff here to sound detonate the floor. But I will put on the firewall. So basically, I just go to, um, you know, get it at the big box stores. Um, now, this stuff isn't cheap. Now, this is actually it's aluminum waterproof repair tape. And this stuff is really thick. It's just almost just like the sound detonator that you buy. You can see how thick it is here. And um, you also need this tape here um, because I don't like to see any seams. So I put this tape on afterwards. Pick up a, you know, $8 to $10 roller here. Um, and once this stuff get, heats up, I actually try to heat up the, the floor so it'll just stick on there just like really like like glue. And once you put this stuff on, it's not coming back off, guys. So, and this here is what I take and I roll it to get all the little air bubbles out of it. So, I'm going to show you guys how I normally do my floor. I'm going to try to get some light in here so I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing. But, um, I, I'm not doing a floor. I'm sorry. I'm doing a firewall here. Up underneath there. Um, and I may come down but because I always do the back of the cab as well So I put the some sound dead there on the back of the cab and this stuff works really good. Let me clean off my lens here All right, let's see if we can Do a couple of strips there so I can show you guys How this work You just basically take and you peel it peel it off like this and it's uh, got this like a metal, metal on the outside and this is how it's thick and on the inside it has a little plastic covering that you pull off and this part sticks up on your firewall so we're going to go ahead and uh, what I normally do is I like to try to measure a few before I cut them and I'm going to go all the way up here with the firewall get your good exacto knife
right, crew. So before we end this video, we're just going to do a little recap of everything that we did today. Um, of course, you guys know um, we painted. I didn't paint this on camera, but we painted up the pulleys and everything. I put me a new uh, belt on there. Turns out really nice. Everything's looking good. Everything's coming together. Um, I actually put a coolant temp in there today, too. I just did it off camera. We put a coolant temp, a new coolant temp, because that one was broke off. Um, we also went to Home Depot, guys, and we got some um, some flooring. Um, it's just a quarter inch board. Um, I always put that in there to keep it um, the cabinet a sturdy, especially when I put my seats on top of there. And then we went on ahead and finished it off, and we um, put some sound detonator on the firewall. Turned out really well. You guys can see I put the little tape on there. Now you cannot see no seams or anything and it turned out very well um, I will have to get some more of that sound detonator stuff on the roofing and I'll put it on the back here and that will definitely help out the sound a little bit you're not going to get all the squeaks and creaks out of it but it will help it a lot so anyway thanks guys that's going to be it for this video um, you know I don't know what we'll do next but we're just tidying up everything and I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today in the garage um the day was really a light day man i just wanted to do little things that i wouldn't normally do on a really busy day hopefully all the grinding and welding and all that stuff is behind me now so anyway hey thanks for thanks again guys for you know looking at all my videos um we're well over 4500 watch hours and stuff we're you know still hitting it hard guys to get those subscribers so don't forget to like share and if you really like these videos subscribe say so, hey, i'm up here it's the end of the day i'm up here smoking me a good cigar so like i tell everybody guys if you got a good cigar a fast car or truck smoke them if you got them baby cj is out and i catch you guys on the next video peace